Hi everyone, I'm Lauren. Welcome back to Like a Boss. Today I'm in the Learning Lounge, which is still here, even though the door has to stay shut for safety reasons, but you can still book an appointment with a learning advisor if you want to speak to anyone. But it's early in the semester, which means that I've been thinking a lot about what new and returning students really need to know to get kicked into gear. And that got me reflecting a little bit on what I wish I knew when I first started uni. It was a little while ago and things were a little bit different then. We still had, you know, physical assignment drop boxes and we had to fill out uh, cover sheets with a pen, uh, but uh, things haven't actually changed that much at the end of the day. For one, I wish that I knew how useful and smart the library staff are and that they're there to actually answer your questions. Um, they're not frightening. Uh, they're not going to think that you're stupid for asking a question about how uh, a database works, which is definitely a question I should have asked much sooner. Uh, and they can actually save you heaps and heaps of time by showing you how to search properly. I also wish that I knew how incredibly uh, fun, but also how genuinely useful uh, and influential joining a Flinders club would be. I didn't join a club until I was in postgrad. Uh, it was the Speakeasy Creative Readings Club of which I eventually became a uh, co-president. Um, but really that club is responsible for introducing me to my current business partner, to my creative uh, collaborators and to the people who remain my best friends today. And in fact, I credit that club and the skills that I learned there uh, and the projects that were built from those collaborations as actually a huge part of how I ended up in this job now. So I thought that I would ask a bunch of experts, people who have years of experience working in academia, many of whom like me were students themselves for probably a good like, you know, 10 years maybe, uh, about what they wished that they had known when they first started uni. Hi everyone, my name is Michaela Sivich. I'm a lecturer in psychology. What I wish I knew when I started university was that university is really a time to explore and try new things. Uh, I think having some focus at university as to what you want to do at the end is great, but don't let that detract from the shiny things at the corner of your eye that really grab your attention. It's a really good opportunity to try some new things, to try some new subjects, and also to visit the careers hub and understand the kind of opportunities that are also available to you outside of the university and start trying those things while you're doing your degree. The volunteer opportunities, the work relevant experience that you can do, it all adds up to your narrative of who you are, where you're going, and it's really important to start exploring those things while you're at university so that when you go to apply for jobs, you're super competitive, you've got a really good idea of what you want to be doing and why you want to be doing it, and yeah, visit the Careers Hub, they can help you a lot with that. Hi, my name's Joss Rankin and I'm a Senior Lecturer in Health and Physical Education. I work in the Bachelor of Education as well as the Bachelor of Sport, Health and Physical Activity. My areas of specialisation are in Physical Education as well as Outdoor Education. Uh, when I think back to when I was in uni, I wish I had taken advantage of the opportunities that were in front of us and those that probably weren't as obvious in the first instance. Things like sessions during O-Week, uh, support networks, clubs and associations, and even inside of topics when lecturers made us aware of certain volunteer uh, opportunities that we might be able to take advantage of connects us really with uh, the outside world and what we're studying towards. I did learn my lesson as I started to move through and I think that that worked relatively well for me. <laughs> I'm Lydia Woodyatt and I'm an Associate Professor in Psychology. I wish I knew that just because you're not good at something to start with doesn't mean you're not meant to be doing it in the long run. Some of the assignments and topics that I really struggled with in my first degree are the things that I now do on the daily in my job and I think I'm pretty good at. So if you take a growth mindset that actually just start somewhere and then build skills, actually you're probably going to get there. And if you uh, love it and you're curious, that's probably the most important thing. G'day everyone, my name is Ali Enri and I'm a lecturer in psychology and a teaching specialist. And one of the things that I probably wish I knew when I first started university was to explore around all the different groups and find your people. Find the people that you really fit and connect with and recognize that that might change over the years, but it was really helpful for me, mainly because they became my comrades, they're my friends, they know what academic life is all about, they know what it's like to try and work and balance everything, um, and they also are a great opportunity to practice your knowledge. We came together as study groups, we could learn about things together, um, and most of them I'm still friends with now. So um, good luck and hope you have a great time. Hi, I'm Michael McNamara. I'm a lecturer in the College of Business, Government and Law. 
Uh, I teach law, uh, but one of the things I also do is teach law to business students. What's something I wish I knew when I was a student? Well, I wish I knew how important it was to attend class, whether that's face-to-face -face or virtually, and keep on top of important information such as the topic guide and announcements from the teaching staff. Why do I think this is so important? I guess it's because I've realised that most teachers at a university actually want their students to succeed and that they spend a lot of time organising the information that they're going to give to students so that they can help students manage their time. And if we follow what's called the 80-20 rule, we can really get 80% of what we need to know in 20% of the time if we just stay in tune with uh, what the topic coordinator and the other teaching staff uh, are trying to deliver to us. Uh, and this means uh, regular engagement by, by coming to class, and that might be virtual attendance, and, and reading announcements uh, when they come, and always checking back to those import, checking back and looking at those important materials such as the topic guide and assignment instructions. Hi, I'm Emma Thomas. I'm an Associate Professor of Psychology here at Flinders University. There are three things I wish I knew when I started studying. The first is the importance of being organised. Get yourself a diary and write uh, sort of weekly goals in it, write your monthly things and keep track of your assignments. The second is the importance and really the usefulness of accessing academic supports. So the Student Learning Lounge, these people can help you work on problems and help you develop your kind of writing and your anal analytical skills. And then the third thing is a little bit different and that is the importance of um, kind of making time and space to have conversation, engage with ideas with other people. This is really one of the sort of few times in your life where you're learning a lot and um, it's really important to kind of just test ideas with other people and enjoy doing that. So I wish you every success. My name's Helen Harrison. I'm from the College of Medicine and Public Health. I'm a teaching specialist in human physiology and I primarily teach into the Bachelor of Medical Science down there. Uh, so what I wish I'd known when I started university was that it's okay to ask questions and that academics actually really like it when you ask questions and it'll save you a whole lot of time by going up and asking a question about something that you're not sure about compared to spending hours searching for that answer in a textbook or online. Um, so this is something that took me quite a while to learn but I wish I had known it sooner. Hi, I'm Paul Williamson, I'm a lecturer in psychology and if there's one thing I wish that I knew when I started university it would be that I actually have a bit of time and I don't have to make all my decisions right at the beginning. I can think about things, but I've got to try and take opportunities when they come. So that would be the main thing, is that there's quite a few opportunities that arise and it might seem like a little bit more work sometimes, but it might be volunteering or anything like that. And that's what I would do because you can't sort of do it right at the end, but if you do it when you get your opportunities, I think that will really help you down the track. And you'll probably make lots of good friends because I think that's pretty important at uni too. Hi, my name is Professor Kate Douglas. I work in English um, in the College of Haas. Uh, what I wish I'd known, so many things, um, but what I wish I'd known when I was at uni was that university lecturers appreciate creativity. They don't just want to read the same assignment over and over again. They want to see your assignment, something that's unique to you. Um, something that's come to your mind um, in your kind of critical perspectives, um, your thoughts, your interpretations. That's what we want to see um, and that's what I wish I would have known. And that's it for this episode. I will be back next week to chat more deeply with uh, Dr Lydia Woodyatt about how we can bounce back if you're feeling like you had a less than ideal semester last semester and why we shouldn't feel guilty uh, if we haven't been as productive or creative uh, as we feel like we should have been. So until then, I'll, uh, I'll see you and I hope you have a good week. Bye.